What's new in SciChart.js version 3? We have completely updated the brand and style of our website and application. If you go to Showcase JavaScript Charts, you will see a large number of examples that have been completely rebranded and organized. Performance demos are viewed at the top. After that, we have Showcases and then Chart Types on page 1 and 2. Have a look at our new styled JavaScript chart examples, which showcase what you can do with SciChart.js. Each example page hosts a live chart example as well as a description and links to GitHub telling you how to get the code. We've included a new WebGL powered text rendering engine in SciChart. A couple of examples of what this can do. You can now add data labels onto charts. These will take values from your chart series or the values from metadata. Y values can be displayed as well as X and Y. Text labels, color and positioning can be changed as well. This allows for things like a text cloud or word cloud charts. You can now display tens of thousands of labels on the chart. It is now easy to build things like histograms inside SciChart where you have data labels at the top of a column series. There is a new subcharts API in SciChart.js which allows you to place charts on charts. In the 64 chart dashboard performance demo, we've placed 64 charts in a single web page. All the chart series can be updated in real time. This demo will showcase up to 1 million points on screen with 192 series of different types, all updating in real time. There is a new non-uniform heat map chart type. This is like the regular heat map except you can now have uneven sizes for columns and rows. Heat map now support text data labels, as well as a heat map legend which can be placed on the left or the right of the chart. The heat map legend can be placed on 2D or 3D charts. It doesn't matter which type of chart that you place it on. You can provide a color map and an axis with a title for you to view the Z values or the height values of a heat map or 3D surface on the chart. There's been a large number of styling and theming improvements to the SciChart examples. On our demo, you'll see that there are 85 examples of SciChart.js. Each one of them has been updated in order to look beautiful and fit with our new branding theme. In addition to this, we've added small features like auto coloring of series. Specifying stroke auto will allow SciChart to pick colors for series from the theme. There are also a number of performance improvements. As well as hundreds of micro optimizations throughout the code, we've added a native text system for axis labels and improved performance by 10 times for the uniform heat map and added the subcharts API, which allows for large dashboards of charts sharing a single WebGL context. We've created a number of new demos in the SciChart.js example suite, such as this rich heat maps interactions demo, which showcases a rich interactive wave simulation where you can drag elements, update cross sections, interact with the chart, and update data by dragging on it. We've added a WebSocket demo, which shows you how to stream data from the server over WebSocket. This should be interesting for any customers making client-server applications and wondering how to integrate to real-time data streams with SciChart.js. We've also updated many of our examples, such as the real-time ticking stock charts demo, which now collects to live data from Binance and displays cryptocurrency data on the screen. You can switch from OHLC to Candlestick, and there is an interactive legend on the top left of the chart. Over 39 issues have also been fixed in the current version of SciChart.js. You can find these by going to News and Releases and looking at the release note for SciChart.js version 3. Thank you for your time and attention to this video. We hope you enjoy using SciChart.js version 3.